say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Good boy. Welcome to our day, rock and roll. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> She just looked away from you like I didn't do anything. I'm gonna carry on with this now. You can try. Maybe she's trying to tell you that she knows that you're morphine tired. <laughs> oh, she's holding both of us again. Mm. Oh, you're so cute. She's like, I'm aware of my cuteness. Yeah. I use it to my advantage. Uh -huh. And I always win. Yep. Yeah. You know what you're doing, don't you? Baby girl, you're breaking Mama's heart. Because <laughs> I'm so cute. Yeah. You're gorgeous. Wow. Has it stopped, I wonder? <laughs> she was falling asleep and then she was like, oh, I woke up. Oh, yeah, Mama. <laughs> oh, back to sleep. Oh, darling. <laughs> Gorgeous, you know that. Gorgeous. I'm going to sleep now, okay? Okay. I'm going to sleep. We are in the car on the way to the sea. The dentistry team for oh, me. I no. Just like, we are? <laughs> I wish. Okay. Instead, we're going to a terrifying place, which I'm not happy about. No. Absolutely hate the dentist. <laughs> So much because of so many fears, but yeah, this pain has got to end. Let's go find out what it is.
So we are back in the car. We had to stop somewhere because we had to get some um, batteries for my oxygen and for some stuff at home. But getting them online is really expensive. So 70p here whereas normally they'd probably be about five pound a battery online yeah so we took advantage whilst we knew we were coming past this place and we know that they're really cheap here however i now need to pee so we need to go find a toilet and then it's off to the dentist and obviously whilst we went in to get the batteries and whatever i didn't have my heat thing on and oh my god i know about it now it really hurts but we saw a flower hanging on a, over on top of a fence from somebody's garden whilst we were here <laughs> and it is stunning so i told Sophie to get it it's okay there's like at least another 50 on the same plant so it's not like they've got no none left, but I think there's a little bit more than fifty. Yeah. So we'll show you that when we get back. I'm gonna try and dry it out, like how how it, how it is now, and see if I can preserve it in resin as a paperweight and try and sell it or something. And yeah, but I'm having such a paranoid day. And I hate it. Like, in the middle of the shop, I was like, can either you or I go and just check on the girls, please? Because obviously the girls are with us because we don't need them anywhere. But we had to park a little bit further down from the shop. And, yeah, I was just like, mm. And obviously Sophie and I both need a way. So I was just like, can we kind of go in one at a time, though? Because of my paranoia. <sighs> it's so frustrating. Like... If you struggle with anxieties and paranoia and stuff like that, you kind of understand. But for those that don't, you're probably thinking WTF, like, why is she worried? It's only her girls in the car. That doesn't stop my brain. All right, we're going to go find a toilet. So we didn't go to the services to go to the toilet. We just came here and they've actually let me come in early. And I'm in the disabled toilet and I am so amazed and so proud of this little hospital. There's an adult changing bed. There's a hoist. There's like a little changing bed. And then a fully stocked handle railed toilet. How freaking cool is that? In, yep. belted, yep. can reach your thing. Yep. Awesome. We're done. We've only taken, oh crap. We've only taken the one tooped out. I just need to get my oxygen. Seriously though, they are so lovely here. They came out and like, asked about my appointment and obviously we were an hour early they came out and said that they're happy to let us go in um and they love this chair because it can go back in tilts and whatever which we love it too now um he had a look did an x-ray asked to see if i can have the copy of the x-ray again they tried but they couldn't get it out get it out couldn't print it out um so i'm gonna ring up on monday to get it because i just like to have a copy of all my notes um he's only pulled the one tooth that was like really badly damaged which we have again um i'll show you more in depth a bit later the other ones well, he said that with this one, I could have had a root canal and I could have had it fixed, but it would have taken three or four appointments. Which, obviously, I don't really want. Ready, yep. So we just 
pulled it out. He said with the other ones, if I can get into a dentist, they could be saved. They're just, at the minute, it's, what's happening is this one that was chipped was whenever I eat or whatever, or I grind my teeth when I'm asleep, it's been digging at the one that's on the bottom. And then because that one's been chipped and got holes in it, is then affecting the what next one up, up up top, which was next to this one, which has now got holes in it. So we said that if I can get into a dentist soon enough and get them filled, then we can save them. And he turned around and said that the rest of my teeth are still in really good condition, considering I've not been able to go to a dentist for regular checkups and cleans, and I'm on steroids and breathing treatments and God knows what else. Um, and he did say that if I, whilst I'm waiting for the NHS, um, they do do private stuff there as well and whatever, so I'm, I might just ring up and inquire to see how much it costs, especially if it means that I can save my other teeth. Um, but they've been really lovely there again. And they sort of said that I should qualify for the community system that they got there and just go there regularly for my teeth. Um, and she said when I ring up on Monday to just check and find out and inquire and whatever else. Uh, the reason why I'm still talking like this is because I got gauze in me all because <laughs> it's bleeding like a bitch. Um, but I made the um, dental assistant wet herself laughing because obviously we got my chair back which they absolutely love because my chair goes all the way back and whatever else it's just amazing but um, she was then uh, he went to just go stab the needle straight in my, my mouth now if you've not had any dental treatment dental needles do really hurt I can have any needle whatever I've had it arterial lines in intensive care everything yes they hurt but it is nothing compared to a dental needle um, and yeah you just went to go stab it and I was like hang on have you not got any of that numbing cream stuff and he was just like, oh, I'm not really a big fan of that though. I just like to do a little bit of the injection and then wait for that to kind of settle in and then um, go in with the rest of it. And I was like, well, I'm not a big fan of needles just being shoved in my mouth. And he went quiet and the nurse just basically pissed herself laughing, like fair point. I was like, I don't care if you're a big fan or not. <laughs> this is my mouth. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was all fun and games. Yeah, I eat your words. Yeah, I. I'm not gonna willingly let you stab me just because you're not a big fan of numbing cream. Well, jog on. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of needles just being rammed in my gums. <sighs> but it is a big tooth out. I've now got a big hole. And I need to check. Like, he doesn't think that I've got the osteonecrosis of the jaw. Because it's normally when you've been on anandronic acid IV that they. It normally occurs. Um. But that being said, I just obviously need to keep an eye on it and if I get any pain or discharge or anything else, then um, I need to call him up as soon as that starts happening and then just go and get checked then. But yeah, at least it is not the scary ONJ, so we're happy with that. So now it's off home. By the time I've got home, I should be able to have this gauze out my face. Um, 
so yeah journey to the home home and it's been a bit of a bloody mess literally I took the one gauze out because it seemed like it was all dry and everything was good and within about a minute like there was blood everywhere and thankfully they gave me a spare gauze because I needed it but also look how thin my hair is so if I really, really chuckled at it when I did this, it's like th if it's thinner than my finger, which is insane. I've just put the daffodils into one pot together. The daffodils themselves have all dried out, but there's this little bulbous thing underneath, and that's still wet. So I just had to cut it and then put it back into the silica beads and hopefully that will dry out now. But the flower that we got earlier still whole. Yeah. Turn it round. Boom. I'm going to try and keep the leaves of it. I'm not that fussed about that one. No, it's a bit squished. But this, that is just with the way the leaves go, oh, it's just a beauty. I don't think it would have lasted long anyway, because that's all dead. Yeah. Which is why I think it was easy for you to snap it. Because mm -hmm. you can see where it then goes green. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to try and dry this one out as it is. And then set that in resin. But yay. Let's see how it goes. And then we've got like the little leaves. Um, that's the one. So there's lots of little petals. This was actually on a one that we did pick up initially. But it just fell apart. So we obviously couldn't leave it there. And there is also, we've got this bud, which is really cute, and this bud, which has got a bit of brown on it, but the rest is super cute. So, let's see how dry all these go. Boom. So... It's now out. Four hours since you and home. I just took out the gauze again. And, well, this happened. And I was like, a legion again. So, we stuck a tap on it now. <laughs> Because they're like, they're quite sterile, and they're quite absorbent, but it says, if the legion continues for more than two hours, contact us on this number. I fell asleep. So you just hung that number and they're shut. So they said to ring one on one, which is the non emergency sort of number. So we're trying to figure out now what the hell to do. Because, yeah, this isn't good. 
And uh, so it's quite uncomfortable having a telephone in your own. But yeah, we'll let you know what happens. So I got a telephone in your own, and so it's like this is a slow one. Twenty minutes later, she's just realised. This is a super one. See, she's not going to get a small one. Regular. <laughs> oh, this is a difference. That says R on that. Yeah, regular. The other one said S, which I thought was small. But it's not, it's super. <laughs> What's well, this slightly different? So we've got to wait for a call back, but that lady was so lovely, like, she asked her if she could talk to me and I was just like, oh, well. It's hard for her, it's hard for her, I hope she cracked it. She, Alexi, get off of her! Help her! What is she doing to you? Dixie just jumped off and took advantage of her. She's not done that in a while. She seems particularly wild. Poor Alva. Yeah, it's okay. Please but yeah, that made her chuckle. Uh, yeah, not quick enough, she still did so. I know, sorry. <laughs> but also just here, this applicator is actually really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's, those, are the, those are the only ones I can even remotely use. What brand is it? I think they are. I'll have a look. So, yeah, it's like this little flash bit of it. And then. You pull it out. Like. There's like a little lock into place for it. Like with this for it. And then obviously you just. You. Push it through. They are Tampax Compact Pearl. Yeah. Specifically the pearl ones because they come in those yeah. packages. They are plastic, but. Is it then in cardboard I, shit? I cannot use. I cannot use cardboard ones. I no. just can't. They do not work at all for me. By the time Sophie gets it in, the Cairo does all like lush. Yeah, exactly. And then, like, it doesn't push out. And then, like, I lose half a cardboard tube up my fag and not a freaking tampon. Yeah. But, um, this yeah. This is quite... And they're really comfortable, which is saying something because I do not get on with No, these are quite sturdy and robust. Yeah, yeah, it's very helpful. So, yeah, it is plastic, but that's pretty good. Yeah. So... Can you lie down, please? We have to now wait for a call work. Yeah. See how we go.